Okay, man, I don't know what's in the water, in the air, in the, in the, in the chemtrails coming from the planes, you know, turning the frogs suspect. But fam, I've been seeing brothers complain about Bo. And when I say I've been seeing brothers complain about Bo, you're probably thinking, oh, it's got more broken or, you know, brothers are realizing, you know, something else that's like too strong on Bo or something like that. No, no, no. I mean, in the way that, the, the opposite way, you know, where they're saying it's not good enough, which is like insane. I don't think for like years at this point, I don't think I've seen anyone. But let me put it this way. I think Bo is like the only weapon in Brahalla where brothers are actually in agreement on its like state of balance, you know? Like, no one thinks Bo is bad. I, I I would hope so, anyway. It's like, it's like the only weapon where that's the case. Maybe Katars, too. I feel like no one can, could, like, call Katars bad. But there's definitely some delusional Katar mains out there, for sure. This guy doesn't dodge. Like, he actually just doesn't press his dodge button for him. Okay. Anyway. um, But, no. I've been seeing brothers say that, like, Bo, it doesn't kill. Is, like, the main complaint I'm seeing. And it's... To be fair, I can understand their frustration, okay? Because... And I've even been saying this myself, but BMG are... <laughs> this poor guy. Are balancing Bow in such a fucking weird way. They're making its weakness, which is... And by the way, it, I, I should clarify, it's only weakness, which is killing. Um, and it's not even really a weakness. It's not that Bow can't kill, it's just that it kills late. Okay? But you have to remember that there's weapons in this game that actually... He, he doesn't dodge. He doesn't have a dodge button for him. It, it's really pissing me off. Like, I'm trying to... Okay, he dodged. Finally. He's dead. What the fuck was that aim? Uh, like I was trying to say, um, yeah, there, there's weapons like Katars and Scythe which genuinely can't kill. Like, there, there's no guarantee that weapons like Katars and Scythe will ever kill because they don't have kill confirms, you know? Um, like, you have to get a read to kill on either of those weapons or just, you know, on Scythe, for example, get your opponent damaged enough to die to a Scythe Ser, just raw, which is, like, not happening, you know? Um, or maybe it will because you take that long to kill. Bow... It's like at least of like, do you get what I'm saying? All you have to do to kill on this weapon is hit D-Light, which is, and I'm sure you lot can imagine, not a very difficult task, right? And I, I've been saying this now. It's like, that, that's literally all you have to do to kill on this weapon. And it might kill late, sure, but it will still kill is the is the point I'm trying to make. Oh, do I die here? N okay, not quite. Um, So yeah, I, I don't know about that whole conversation. But, like, to be fair, like I said, like, look, that won't kill, right? And it's like, you know, maybe... I mean, to be fair, if you think that should kill, then... I don't know what to tell you, because... And this weapon is too good at everything else for things like that to kill. But, yeah, BMG, to be fair, are making it quite weird with Bo, where, like, that weakness, they're just making worse, right? Like, they, they, they nerfed the, the force of recovery in a patch not too long ago, which is... And I said it at the time, too, is, is, is a bit of a weird way to go about balancing it. Like, I think just make the... The, the really, really, really just way too strong strengths a little bit worse. Like D-Light. Give D-Light some end lag, please. It's all I've been asking for on Bow for a long time. But no, instead it's, yeah, things like that, which is... It just doesn't... Oh, fuck, you know, I'm dead. It was worth it. It just doesn't make too much sense. So I can, I can see where they're coming from, but at the same time, it is just fucking delusion, fam. Because this weapon is just... It, it's the, like the best zoning weapon in the game with ease because there's not a single fucking place you can be like when you're fighting a, a bow player to be safe you know like against blasters i can just, like you know jump around here and there's literally he can't hit me with anything basically and you know it's very easy to, to like play around the weapon like that uh against like hammer same thing you know it, it, there's places where the weapon can't touch you you see there like I, i'm just staying in that spot and there's literally nothing this guy can do right um same with sword if you're like above sword you know it, but bow you have end light here. Nair if they go way too high up. You know, uh, side light stacked. D light for like the longest range in the entire game. Th there's literally no way you can be that is safe. Insane at catching landings. It's insane at doing fucking everything really. Um, you know, juggling too. If you end up in the air, it's GG's. You know, it, it, there's no way you're fucking safe. It has all the diagonal hitbox, stacked hitbox, far range reaching hitbox, juggling hitboxes. Like, it, do you get what I'm saying? So to complain about it killing... A little bit late is interesting for sure. He's gonna come and dare me and get hit by this. Watch. Okay. Um, <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> I actually really deserve <laughs> to hold that ground pound. I, I I don't know, man. Um, did I even say this? I think I was about to say in the last game too that it's like, yeah, it is being the only fucking weapon that is basically agreed upon in its state of balance with the community. 
the only time it's never not been like that for me that I ever remember is when I joined the community and like, fucking hell, it's impossible to avoid boomerang spam. It actually is. Uh, the only time it's not been like that is literally when I joined this, this community like three years ago, right? Because I didn't really... I was still playing the game, but I wasn't really interacting with anyone like Twitter, you know, Reddit or... Thank God, honestly, but... Do you know what I'm saying? Maybe I should have kept it that way, in all honesty. This guy's going to win, actually. Oh, he's dead. Wait. Okay, I was going to say, maybe they're right. But anyway, yeah, when I did join, I wasn't, like, horrible at the game, but I was bad. You know, I was... Because I had this weird, like, thing in my mind where I was like, I, I can't, you know, start making YouTube videos until I'm diamond, at least. Because no one wants to watch shit plat gameplay, you know? Um, I, I don't know. It, it, it's kind of dumb, considering that literally some of the biggest YouTubers at the time were plats. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway... I was, um, yeah, when I did join uh, and started making videos and started going on Twitter and everything, like, obviously, when you're not just some fucking goat at the game, when you're not, like, top 100 minimum, no one gives a fuck about your opinion on balance because you're, you're not good at the game, right? So it's, like, you know, rightfully so, to be honest. I'm dead. Okay, not quite. Uh, yeah, like, rightfully so, to be fair, right? Um, so, yeah, but the opinion I always had, and back then, it wasn't even, like, a popular opinion. Or maybe, no, I think it was popular, but it's like, it was still at the stage where brothers could disagree. By brothers, I mean the bow mains. Uh, and it was just like, I was just complaining about bow. That was the only weapon I would ever complain about back then. Um, you could even probably go back to the start of my YouTube video, or start of my YouTube channel, and find videos of me like complaining about bow, fam. But brothers would actually argue against it, is the thing. Like, you are so fucking shit at the game. You don't know what you're talking about. You know, don't call bow broken. It's not, it's bad. And it's like, the weapon hasn't even really changed since then either, is the thing. I'm so bad at this game. I didn't think that deal I was hitting, to be fair. And like just killed. I don't know how damaged he was, but you can kill on this weapon. Anyway, um, but yeah, since then, and that was like, I think the only time I've ever seen brothers ever try and argue like, like against Bo being a broken weapon. <laughs> Some interesting fucking neutral game being played here. Can't fucking hit him at all. Okay, thank you. Um, but you know, since then, it's basically been, like I said, the only weapon I've ever seen be like basically agreed upon by everyone uh on, it, on its like state of balance being too good and it's just been that way for so long now i think the only other weapon that was ever up there was hammer but but even then when hammer was like really fucking broken uh it was only really eu that thought that like na did not think hammer was was ever really good but i think all regions kind of agree on both state so yeah it's um not really the same oh he actually why did he not end sig there? Could have made it back. Maybe even if he didn't there, he would have made it back. I don't know. Anyway, though, that's 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 basically it. I just just thought I would uh, chat about that. I, I just think it's kind of it's it's a valid excuse, or well, not excuse. You see what I'm trying to say? It's like a valid complaint. Um, you know, especially if bow's your main weapon, and I don't. Know, it's so fucking frustrating to kill late. But it's like. It, it, without that, this weapon would be the actual fucking Thanos weapon of the game. It would be, you'd have all five fucking Infinity Stones on you if this weapon did not kill late. Like, it has to, you know? Because there's nothing else balanced about it. Only that. So it's like, I don't know what you want from BMG, fam. But, to be fair, like I said, maybe it, it would make sense if they would actually balance the weapon based off of its like strengths instead of weaknesses, because that is... It is kind of dumb. Like, making it kill later is just not the play. Like, I honestly, I genuinely think they should buff how early recovery kills on Bow. Back to how it was before, at least. But then, just please, finally, man, pull the trigger on the D, like, nerf. I nearly said buff, fuck you, no, know, please never do that. But it's just, it's so much reward in every single fucking way. It's one of the best moves, and it might even be, like, the best light attack in the whole game. Just for, like, zero risk. Just throw it out, and if it hits, then, you know, safe. If not, it, oh well. You know, you're not getting punished for it anyway. Unless your opponent is specifically only trying to punish that move and not worrying about anything else on both kit. Like, it's, it's... It's insane, fam. It's actually fucking insane. Anyway, though. That's, um... I have nothing else to really even chat about in terms of the, the balance and everything. But, yeah. Uh, I, I understand where they're coming from, but... It's fucking delusion. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, I was going to actually chat a little bit about fam. I, I don't know if anyone else will agree with me. I I'm sure there'll be a, like quite a lot of people, but it's like it's stereotypical fam. It's like if you go to sleep really late, it's like it's looked down upon, right? Like if you go to sleep at like you go to sleep when the sun comes up, you know, you are a fucking social outcast fam. But 
low key, I think. Well, I mean, I, I, it depends if you actually are a social outcast or not. Like, because I think it's just it's like the correlation between most people who do go to sleep at that time are fucking social outcasts. But is do you know what I'm saying? You can be a regular human being, but just enjoy being up at those times. Um, because like for me, I I don't know. I I go through phases of like trying to wake up early and everything. And, you know, it, it that feels nice sometimes, sure. But then a lot of the time, I just really enjoy ha like the, the peace that comes with being awake when like no one else is. Like, I just think that's so nice, you know, to be able to just, do you get what I'm saying? Like, like my day, usually, I mean, at the moment, anyway, my sleep pattern's kind of fucked up at the moment. But like, a day where I don't go to work will go like, I wake up, my girlfriend is at work. So, you know, I'll just get on with, with what I need to do. I'll make a video, I'll edit, you know, upload and all that stuff. Uh, then she'll come home. I'll chill with my girlfriend for a bit. Go do something with her. I don't know. And then I'll go gym. After that, um, or I'll go climbing or do something, either gym or climbing, you know, that's some exercise you know uh some training i guess is probably the best word for it and then i'll come home i'll eat dinner eat food with my girlfriend and then after that it's like i'll just stay up for like hours and hours and hours and hours just just I don't know watching videos or do you know what i'm saying just doing something like uh, it's just it's just nice i feel like to just stay up at night and you know what i mean chill, chill with my friends in vc or you know play some games it's just fun like i it, and it's like absolutely at that point my dog is sleeping my cat is sleeping my girlfriend's sleeping you know I, I have nothing to do like it's just it's it's so like 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 comforting i feel like for me anyway like there's just zero responsibility at that time you just you can just do what you want and you don't have to feel bad about it do you know what i mean like if i was in the middle of the day doing that i'd be like oh i could be so productive right now i could be doing something else but it's like, I'm not going to sit there and record because I'm going to wake everyone up if I do that. You know, I, I'm not going to go to the fucking gym because the gym is closed and I've already been that day. You know, um, it's just like, you just chill and just, you know, like, like be what I want at that time. I don't know, though. But at the same time, it is kind of, especially in winter, I feel like it, I can't have that fucking sleep pan because it, it literally, it is light when I, or sorry, it's dark when I wake up and it's like, it's just depressing at that point. Like dark when you go to sleep and then it's dark when you wake up. It's, it's not the one fam. You, you never see sunlight. So like in winter, yeah, I, I can definitely, um, <laughs> I can definitely vouch for doing the complete opposite, which is actually starting to wake up a bit earlier. I think that's, that's worth doing. But in the summer, you know, I wake up and it's, it's still, it's still light until like 10 PM fam. It's late, oh sorry, light until I literally finish my day. So I can't complain really. Um, I don't know though, you, you don't let me know how you feel about all that. Is he gonna die? Like, fuck it off him. Maybe, maybe sword is bad too. This shit can't kill either. I, I, that game was so close, I did 200 more damage. Did I kill myself that game? I must have. Fuck you know. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I was just thinking about that because it's like... I feel like it's kind of like a look down upon thing to stay up at night. But it's... You know what I mean? That's only, I guess, if you are genuinely a no-life and you do nothing with your day either but like if you do what you need to do in the day and then you stay up at night and just just chill like that's i don't know i think that's good um depending on the person you know anyway uh yeah let me shout out to our members and we'll end it there also we're gonna continue this fucking tradition after yesterday's video of i'm gonna zoom in on the legend now and and you'll have to guess which one it's gonna be and my hint i don't know which uh which fucking uh, my, my hint my hint is 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 crystal meth Okay, Moro Day Walker underscore Thai, Nitrogen Chunk Dogma Brandenburg, Eric's OK, Atomic Ball, Blackburn Gen Wall, Pokey Sushi, Fish Dukes, Tude, Atomo, Rajin, No Waffles, Ashmeet Singh, Kenji, Draco, Equest, No Glory, Bargain Build, Sparky, Fatchel, Chilled, Braskari, Captain Law, Hammy, Dylan Jelly, Hegemony X9, McD, Controller Mods, Red Room, Lighter, Garrett Halgen, Brandon Murray, The Fat Mark, Maxwell Podcast, Luzio, Tequadotti, Naja, Jacko, Earthman MC, Pinnacle, Ice Swallow, Edit, Color for Alchemy, Lacant, Justin Hall, Jay, and Kevin Peelman. Feel oh I, Kevin Fieldman. I hope I said that right. Anyway, thank you all so much, man. Especially um Red Room and Brandon Murray for the diamond tier purchases. I it's just it is insane, man. Thank you all so much. Like really and truly for all the support across the channel. We hit 30k as well. I made a community post talking about that and I said it like a video ago too, but yeah, on the variety videos as well. Well, I can't lie, the last super liminal video didn't do that well. Um so if you didn't see that, go check it out if you want. But usually on the variety videos, like it, it's just yeah, you lot support me a lot, um, and I'm, I'm very grateful to all of you. And yeah, until next time, I hope you lot have a great day. I love you all, really and truly, and peace.